Oh, there you are, Brian. Uh. Hello and welcome to Tensar Ground Coffee. A few minutes on ground engineering to enjoy while having your coffee. We're here, we're here at the Ku Chi Tunnels near Ho Chi Minh uh, City. We've come here to answer a question that's just come in in the Ask Andrew season from uh, Sandy, Sandy Gravel, and she asks, what is a lateritic soil? Well, we've come to the right area. I'll explain about the tunnel shortly, but a lateritic, a lateritic soil is um, a clay-like, iron-rich soil that you tend to get in the uh, tropical areas because they are a result of weathering in tropical regions with wet and dry seasons. And what happens is that lateritic soil, when it's moist, is fairly easy to uh, cut and excavate, but when it dries, the iron salts create a very rigid structure. So you get as a, a material that is almost as strong as concrete. So as a result, it's been used as a construction material. There are many ancient monuments across Southeast Asia and India made out of uh, blocks from uh, lateritic soil, and they have lasted for hundreds of years. And there are even some examples of lateritic soil aggregates being used uh, in the place of high quality aggregates in road construction uh, because they are so hard. But they were also used, uh, they became an important factor in the construction of the Ku Chi tunnels. This is a whole network of tunnels uh, near Ho Chi Minh City that uh, were used by um, the, the Viet Cong and the North Vietnamese in the, in the Vietnam War. So, these tunnels form a vast network and they had living quarters, kitchens, uh, and the hospitals inside. And the reason they survived for so long was because of the lateritic soil. So if, when the soil is moist, they could excavate the tunnels, but as they dried in the air, they became uh, a very rigid structure. And they fought guerrilla war campaigns from within there. So uh, the, uh, the Americans were trying for, for many years to uh, find these tunnels and destroy them, and they were subjected to carpet bombing uh, by the B-52s, but they continued to survive because they were in that rigid lateritic soil uh, structure. Now, if you come here, Brian, we can have a quick look inside uh, the tunnel, just to give you an idea of what they look inside. Brian, give me the camera a second. Thank you very much. Let's, um, Let's just have a look inside to see what, uh, oh God, it's a bit tight. It's not built for people of my size, but uh, I hope you get an idea there of what the, uh, of what the tunnels look like. So it wouldn't have been a very nice place to live, uh, very cramped conditions, but you see the, the, the rigid structure around here due to the lateritic soils that allowed them uh, to survive for, years within these tunnel networks. So, there you go, Brian. So, there you go. I hope that's answered your question, uh, uh, Sandy, about what are lateritic soils, and you see the, uh, the many applications of them, uh, such as the Coochie tunnels here in Vietnam. That's all for this episode of Tensile Ground Coffee. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.